Hello everyone, and welcome to a quick follow-up to my scripting video to address some confusion I've seen pop up about how to use my example script on newer versions of DSPRE. DSPRE is a relatively new tool that's still being expanded with new versions, so it's still changing over time. I use version 1.3.1 to make my script, but if you take it and try to paste it into the current newest version of DSPRE, there have been some small changes to the script format that have been giving people some errors. So my hope here is to show how to avoid these issues, as I took measures to future-proof my script so people can hopefully use it with any DSPRE version in the future. I did mention this future-proofing in the original scripting video, but I realized I didn't actually bring it up until like 30 minutes into that video, which is basically the full length of a movie? So I can kind of understand how this can get missed. So I wanted to make this small video here to better help point out how to use my script with any DSPRE version you want. Okay, so to start off, as always, you will find links in the description of these videos to download this zip folder right here, which contains all the tools and files that I use in my videos. So for example, if we go down to the script editing folder, there's a exported files subfolder, which contains an export of the exact event, script, and text file that you saw me working with in my scripting video. And it's specifically this script file here that's the key to my future proofing. To show you what I mean, I'm going to go back to the DSPRE reloaded folder, which has the exact version of DSPRE that I use in that scripting video which is 1.3.1 which I can open run DSPRE and I'll just open up a blank platinum ROM in here or I'll jump to the script editor and while technically I could import over just about any script file I'm gonna go down to the same one I worked with in the scripting video for consistency and that was 1052. There we go. Or I can just do import file. And then find my tools folder. Or again, I'll go down into script editing. Exported files. And I can pick the script file here. And if I hit open. Aha! it will import my script into this version and should match the version of the script you saw during my video. Now for comparison, I want to do the same thing in a newer version of DSPRE. And I also have something easy for you to do that as well. So if I go from the scripting episode folder here in my tools folder, back up a couple to where we're inside of DSPRE Reloaded, it's a shortcut I left you, that if you click on it, it takes you right to the releases page of the GitHub site that hosts the SPRE, where you can see any version they made, but the newest one right now is 1.6. And I can just download the 7-zip file here, where I have my download set to come to my desktop, which is right here, not sure why this one shows up. I'm gonna get rid of that real quick. Get rid of those. Bring them back. There we go. <laughs> My desktop shall be clean. And okay, I can right click this, extract two, and that should appear right here. And now I can open up this version. That's the same executable. I'll put it over here. Not much. I'm putting this one over here. This one over here. And I'll open up a different clean platinum ROM here. And yes. I can do the same thing. And again, come down to 1052. Okay, now we can compare these two together. If I can get the right amount of screen here. There we go. Now I'm going to try to line this up all nice. And then import. 
And again, find my tools folder, script editing, exported files, script file. There we go. Okay. So now I have the same script in the old version over here and the new version over here. And at first, it looks like there's actually a large number of differences. These numbers here are all different. These numbers are different, but actually, newer versions of DSPRE have added an option up here at the top that lets you display the numbers in decimal instead of hex. So if I just change this back to hex, which this one was forced into the hex display, then you'll see they're actually still the same. There's actually not that many differences in here. Like one of them is if you go to the functions tab and come to the bottom on both versions here, you will see a small change where this unnamed command got a prefix of CMD. And that's it. So if you were trying to use this format in this newer version of DSPRE, it won't accept it. But hopefully, as you saw, when I use the import method to bring in my actual script file, my commands are already updated to use the new formatting of DSPRE 1.6. And that's why I shared my copy of my script file in the folder you can download so that you can take this file and import it into any future version of DSPRE and they should do the same thing. And then you can see if there's any small format changes that don't match the formatting that you saw in my example video. And then just in case, you also have in here, the event file and the text archive, which also those editors have an import button as well. This one here. And this one here. I've been told that these changes should never be too big, so updating to any new format should be pretty easy. It's just small things like adding this prefix that you need to be aware of. So like I said, you have the power to use any DSPRE version that you want, but if you are still brand new to scripting and are trying to learn from my video, I'd still recommend starting with DSPRE 1.3.1 for consistency. Then once you get scripts working, you can switch to new versions once you're more familiar with how all this works. Personally, I think trying to learn a new skill with a tool that doesn't quite match the video or tutorial that I'm following really complicates things. That's why I do my best to include the exact version that I use in my video in a folder you can easily obtain. Just my way of trying to keep things simple to learn, I guess. But anyway, if you want to see my script in a newer version of DSPRE, all you have to do is import it like I just showed. And I hope that clears up any confusion any of you have had while trying to follow along with my main scripting video. And if down the road you run into any issues importing my script into any newer version of DSPRE, you can let me know in a comment or by coming over to the Discord where we can talk about it. Because this should continue to work, but you never know. So I'm hoping to be prepared to update this as needed if this stops working. But that's it. I think I'll keep this one a little shorter than my last scripting video. And wish you a good day from here. Good night, everybody!